Hello fellow humans and bots, today is the day 20 of my world challenge, world meaning what I learned today. The challenge is to talk about the key takeaways for the day, if you had any life lessons or if you had any bm &M moments, what is a bm &M moment you may ask, it means what blew your mind. Today I wanted to talk about FOMO. I have been running away from this concept for a very long time to be more specific ever since I was exposed to Facebook. Suddenly the kids and the seniors that I went to school with that I didn't even have any interaction, didn't know their last name, was on my feed. I was exposed to their personal life to the point where I knew how much money they made or how much traveling they did, yada yada yada. which was such an unnecessary information and it created this feeling of um, me missing out just because I was a broke ass bitch. I did get over it, you know, I came to uh, a maturity level of understanding how social media works and we all know everyone's posting their highlights, everyone have their own demons to battle, we shouldn't overvalue what other people have and undervalue what you already have, gratitude is the key, you get the point. But you know what blew my mind today? I was just thinking that FOMO can actually be a tool to help someone who's deeply depressed, going through some chronic pain in the hospital, going through a divorce, battling cancer. We can actually use this as a tool. Now before you type something crazy on the comments, hear me out with an open mind because I am typically thinking out loud when I'm making these videos and most of the time I am open to the idea of me being wrong. Now imagine you have a friend who is so dear to you and fell in love amazing uh, married life for five years and gets divorced all of a sudden for no reason like it just feels like a band-aid just ripped and is and that person is so devastated now you have to go visit them before you enter the room you have to um, have this sort of mindset to present this idea of FOMO now you can just throw in uh, FOMO to them, you know, that you have to be very careful with your word choices because you're entering a battlefield with a lot of potential threats on the ground. So with caution, you could enter with a mindset to expose to them that there are other things in life that you could be doing. And if you are approaching the situation with nihilism, you will miss out on life. Does that make sense? And also the best way to cut through any tension is don't argue with me on this is humor. Humor! Make a joke and it instantly it just uplifts any energy around. But you have to be clever with your jokes. So now you're entering this room your best friend is on the bed, he's probably crying, he or she, doesn't matter. And you slowly enter and grab a car key and say, well, now we can plan a trip without worrying where the kids would stay. Now you can't just comment on this to anyone. You need to have that kind of relationship prior to uh, be comfortable to make such comment but given the situation like I said it's your best friend this I think would work so we could actually use FOMO to um, tap into their mindset and say hey you know what it's not the worst case scenario there are other things in life that you were missing out now you can explore them your life has changed that doesn't mean it's changed to the worst it's just changed it's just different now to make it bad or good is in your hands now by presenting the FOMO they would say oh okay I don't want to miss out on that 
and you could go further and say so i guess i won't be seeing you in the tennis club anymore because you are going to be mopping around for a long time i'm gonna borrow your tennis shoes i'm gonna take your tennis racket don't mind me you know kind of like push them to the point and say hey i'm just sad i'm not dead don't take my racket don't take put that down you see where i'm going with this i just had this idea today and it blew my mind I was like, okay, I don't have to run away from this feeling of FOMO. I can actually use that when I feel like a piece of shit and say, hey, if I keep feeling like a piece of shit, I'm missing out. I need to go and experience those things that I can. But sometimes we need a best buddy to remind us. Yesterday, that best buddy for me was my dog. <laughs> He was just like, I'm done with sitting around at the at home. You're crying way too much. You're looking like a sad ass bitch. I don't want to be around you anymore. And he started to get agitated, you know, going in circles, barking at the door, asking us to go out. And literally, as soon as I stepped out in the sun, I immediately had a sense of relief. Anyway, I am Ope. Like I said, I could be wrong. I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, give this video a double tap if you're watching this on Instagram. A big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. It will really, really help me understand where I'm going with my topics. Or if I'm just talking to myself to the camera. With that, I will see you guys tomorrow with a very similar video. Until then, peace.